Welcome to Redwood City, known for its charming neighborhoods, vibrant downtown, proximity to both San Francisco and San Jose, and most notably, its perfect climate. Redwood City has a lovely, vibrant downtown. Anchored by the old Courthouse Square, which is home to San Mateo's Museum of History, this plaza is lined by fountains and shops. But during the summer, there's months of rotating lineup city-sponsored events. Anchored here at the corner of the square is a rotating art gallery. Just across from the courthouse square is a pedestrian plaza with movie theaters, several restaurants, cafes, shops, and a gym. So going into COVID, like other cities in the Bay Area, Redwood City converted some of the streets to slow streets, which provided outdoor space for restaurants and other businesses to continue operations. There are several fantastic restaurants and bars here, and on afternoons you'll see kids riding bikes on scooters and adults walking and mingling about on nights out. On the edge of downtown at the intersection of Middlefield and Main is the civic area of Redwood City. City Hall is located there and also the Redwood City Library. Some of our favorite restaurants are located on this corner, including Donato and Milagros. From here, you can go up Main Street where there are condos, several shops, and restaurants. Redwood City also has incredibly charming neighborhoods with a variety of housing and some really incredible parks. The Centennial Neighborhood. Just north of downtown is the Centennial Neighborhood. The sometimes overlooked neighborhood is incredibly charming with smaller post-war houses, beautiful canopies of trees, and some redevelopment. Mezes Park is a fantastic park here with a tennis court, basketball court, playground, and lots of shaded green space. There's even an old tank. From here, access to the freeways or Caltrain from this neighborhood is super easy. Edgewood Park, so slightly northwest from where we're standing here in downtown and only a few minutes away, we absolutely love this neighborhood for its curved streets, which are filled with beautiful homes and generally incredible landscaping. This neighborhood has a lot of older homes and sometimes very grand homes, as well as some smaller homes and new development. There's also Wellesley Crescent Park, which anchors Edgewood Park. It has lions guarding the entrance. This is an adorable parklet with grassy lawn space and picnic tables. Whipple, which forms a boundary for Edgewood Park, provides quick and easy access to both 101 and 280. Mount Carmel. Just west of downtown, Mount Carmel is by far one of our favorite neighborhoods. There's a variety of housing here, from charming craftsmen, lovely California bungalows, ranchers, and even some new modern construction. The streets here are packed with trees, and on morning or afternoon strolls, it forms these really gorgeous tunnel views down the sidewalks. There's also Stafford Park. Stafford Park is favorite for many in the community. There's a playground, reservable picnic area, barbecue areas, grassy lawn, a splash pad, and even restrooms. Mount Carmel usually has quiet streets, but with Whipple, Jefferson, El Camino, and Alameda forming the borders for this neighborhood, it's a top choice for commuters. Roosevelt Neighborhood. Just southwest from downtown, Roosevelt is a really varied neighborhood with one of our favorite parks in all of Redwood City. This neighborhood is similar to Mount Carmel, and being one of the oldest neighborhoods has well-established landscaping. It's also a great area to find more affordable housing options compared to some of the other neighborhoods. There is a mixed variety of housing here with great vintage homes. You'll find a mix of home sizes and styles from charming bungalows to ranchers and on the edges of the neighborhood, some multifamily housing too. Red Morton Park, one of my favorite parks in Redwood City, is here and it has everything from baseball fields, basketball courts, tennis courts, and a swimming pool, plus bocce and horseshoe areas. The Magical Bridge Playground is a favorite for kids with great equipment. There's a huge grassy lawn and barbecue areas as well. This park sees summer movies, live music, and even yearly Shakespeare in the Park series. Roosevelt Plaza is located just across the street from Keys Market and has great food options as well as a coffee shop, a small gym, and a music school. It's easy to get around from here as well, with Jefferson forming a border and easy access to Woodside Road, both of which provide easy access to downtown 101 and 280. 
Woodside Plaza is a well-established neighborhood with beautiful tree-lined streets and a lot of community pride. The homes here are neat and well-maintained, and homes here typically command a higher price tag. While it's not next to downtown, Woodside Plaza boasts its own shopping center along Woodside Road and offers plenty of amenities. Maddox Park is another great Redwood City Park located right next to Henry Ford Elementary. Commuting is easy from this neighborhood with Woodside Road providing a direct connection to both 101 and 280. Farm Hill offers a lot, including space on nice sized lots and because of its hilly terrain, peekaboo views of the surrounding areas. One of the more appealing features of this neighborhood is it also falls on the boundaries of Roy Cloud Elementary School, one of Redwood City's most desirable schools. You'll find a lot of split-level homes here, as was the style when the neighborhood was being developed. These homes are well-loved and usually well-maintained. A park, unlike any other in Redwood City, is here as well, and that's Stoolshaft Park. From the road, there's a great playground covered in a canopy of redwoods and a great hilly trail that leads you down to a creek. This is a great spot to bring dogs for some off-leash play as well. While there are some windy streets, Farm Hill Boulevard provides quick and easy access into the heart of Redwood City, or 280, for commuting. There are so many things to love about Redwood City. We would love the opportunity to introduce you to one of our favorite neighborhoods all among the peninsula. If you have questions about buying, selling, or investing, we would love the opportunity to connect with you.